Welcome back to my channel everybody and today I'm here to show you how I make Chilean sea bass. Let's get into this video. Welcome to Kevy's Kitchen. So we're going to start off with some frozen or fresh Chilean sea bass if you have it. Um, my local grocer definitely did and I was super blessed to be able to pick this up. So excited to get started with this. Gonna open them up and check them out. Oh man, look at them. Man, that thing is massive. Oh, this is about to be delicious. Let's go. So we've opened them up, we've patted them off. Look at that. Beautiful, thick fillets of Chilean sea bass. We're gonna start off with a little extra virgin olive oil, a little EVOO for the Rachel Ray fans in the audience. You're gonna season those, or drizzle li liberally, if you will, on both. Yeah, I'm so excited about this dish. So we're gonna go ahead and massage each filet with the olive oil. Nice, even coverage all over everything. There we go. But make sure you get that oil on all sides so when our, we start to season, our seasoning will stick to all surfaces. And the seasoning for this, for this particular dish is super duper simple and you will be able to check it out in the description box down below for a full recipe, exact measurements. I am here for you, baby. All right, we're reaching out for our sea salt. And then you're gonna season that liberally. And if you get some on your plate, no worries, you're gonna use the rest of it to coat over. And then our cracked black pepper. Keeping it very, very simple. The, the actual flavor of the fish is the accent of this dish. That's the point of this dish. You don't want to mask it with a bunch of other stuff. And then, surprise, surprise, a little fresh thyme. It was a last minute decision to add that on. I should have prepped the time, but you know, through the miracle of time lapse, takes no time at all. Brunch. See what I did there? <laughs> all right, and then you're gonna massage all of the herbs and spices right into our fish and make sure you coat everything. Rub it all around and get the extras. And while I'm doing all this, we are literally gonna repeat the exact same uh, thing we did on the first side, seasoning with salt, pepper, and we're good to go with that. But I wanted to give a huge thank you to each and every one of you, all 2,217 of you. Thank you so much for being my ride or dies right now. Like I'm here for you. I do what I do for you. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you. I wholeheartedly appreciate you. We're gonna go ahead and cut our tomatoes for the side dish, if you will. Um, keeping it nice and simple uh, today, I don't wanna overcomplicate things. And you know how to cut a tomato, so we just jump right on past that, and we're gonna get into the fun stuff. Actually building the, the side. I'm gonna get into making the fish here in a minute, but just real quick, I wanted to show you how I did this. And it's just sauteed veggies. You know, a little thyme, some mushrooms, the tomatoes, some fresh garlic, a little salt and pepper. Easy breezy. You wanna bruise your tomatoes, if you will, or sweat them down, tenderize your mushrooms till they have a bit of a bite. There's the salt and pepper that I'm adding on right now. And then we're gonna top this off with fresh spinach and we're gonna let the spinach wilt down. And that's when we're gonna move over to our fish. So just hang tight, it's coming. Gotta give her a little stir. Adding in our fresh garlic. Man, I love fresh garlic. If you could smell this kitchen right now, like, feed me. <laughs> I 
a little extra virgin olive oil there to help build that sauce. And here we go with our spinach. Spinach seems like a lot. Leafy vegetables, leafy greens, pardon me, see, always seem like a lot, but they always reduce down. And you're like, where's the rest of this? I need more of this. So feel free to not get overwhelmed by the amount that you have there. It's gonna be all right. And here we go with our main event. A little olive oil in a cast iron pan that's well seasoned, thick fillets, uh, side down or what would have been skin side down don't touch it a lesson that I learned from my friend former chef friends or my chef friends is once you're using cast iron or you're trying to build that sear don't touch it your fillet or whatever you're cooking is going to be ready for you when it's ready for you these are thick cuts of sea bass so four and a half to five minutes are going to be wonderful I had to cover it up with a fry shield so you know I wouldn't get popped all over the place. Let's check in on our veggies. As you can see here, our spinach is starting to reduce down. We're gonna go ahead and give her a little mix. This is looking like perfectly right now. This is almost where I want it to be. So I think we're gonna go ahead and cover this up and get back to our fish because we should be just about ready to pull it. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's go! Here we go. Oh, look at that golden brown crust. Absolutely perfect. Oh, see? Gotta be careful. Oh, that's hot. All right, so there, there we go. As you can see here, a little bit of an issue right there, but it'll be okay. It is what it is. Sample. I am so excited for how this dish is turning out. I'm gonna add in our garlic. And we have to be careful when you're adding in uh, fresh garlic. You don't want to burn the garlic. Add it in our fresh thyme and I'm gonna go ahead and move that around. I have cut my heat down to, to low at this point in time. It doesn't seem like it, but cast iron holds a lot of heat in. So we're gonna go ahead and maneuver that all around. And once that garlic gets fragrant, time for a little oil bath. You could have very well finished this uh, dish off in the oven if you wanted to, but I let it sear long enough to where it was gonna be done faster this way. So that's why I chose to do it this way. But you can do it however you like to do it. Why? Because that's your business. <laughs> but oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. I'm making my Aunt Avis and Uncle Nathan proud with this one. You gotta eat. Now comes the plating. I have gotten flack from friends in the culinary world about my plating but I was really really proud of this one and mind you I'm no one chef you know I'm self-taught for most of the things that um, I've learned with a strong family foundation and, uh, and base culinary knowledge so give your boy a little bit of credit I try I do okay you know what I'm saying But we start off with our veggies, build a nice sauce base. And you want to try to keep that base as flat as possible because you want to build uh, a layer for your or support layer for your fish to uh, showcase. Just like so. Look at this beautiful piece of fish. Man, okay, a little food grass. Bloop. Had to get that gram shot, you know. Had to clean the plate a little bit, let the juices kind of flow. And I'm just saying, look at that. Whew. My gosh. What's up, everybody? Here we are again, 
you already know what time it is. I'm actually celebrating a little personal victory after being laid off for a year. I have successfully completed my training, transitioning into a new bar, and I'm so super excited about it. Stay tuned, I will have full details for you, including locations and food and booze and the music, it's all amazing. But that's not what we're here for. Chilean sea bass with some sauteed spinach and garlic and tomatoes and thyme. And you know, I had to throw some shrimp on that bad boy. So it is what it is. I'm gonna start off with a little luscious shrimp. Bye for you. Oh my lord. <laughs> Season to perfection. Absolutely perfect. I would tilt this plate more towards the camera, but there's some juice on here from the spinach and the sauce for the fish. You know, I don't want it to run all over my lap, all over my floor. But I'm gonna try to get this in here for you. See if you can see how flaky she comes across. Look at that big old flake of beautiful. Chilean sea bass. You see that? Mm. That's it. I quit. Mm -mm. No. Why was I so blessed? <laughs> That's it, I can't. I'm gonna go off camera and I'm just gonna devour this and just live my best life. And I love y'all. <laughs> oh my God, the veggies. Come on, veggies. Mm. Well, friends, I can't even continue to speak. So I'm gonna see you next week. Thanks for watching everybody. And like always, don't forget to like comment, and subscribe.